been looking at the uh, news this morning and reparations are back in the news. There's a House bill that they're moving forward with uh, calling for the payment of reparations to African Americans. And I just wanted to uh, solve a few observations on that. Uh, things that uh, I think people don't really think about all that much. And I'm not making an argument for or against reparations in this video. That's, that's a separate question. These are just some observations. I think proponents of reparations sort of see the country in, in literally black and white terms. There are all these black people, ancestors of slaves. And you have all these white people whose ancestors were slave owners or somehow involved with slavery. And that, that's really not anything like what this country resembles today. It, it, it's really a false image, you know, in, in some ways supporting a, a false narrative because of that. Now, I think you can make an argument that, that many African Americans, maybe even most African Americans, I don't know, support the idea of reparations. That's understandable. And of course, people on the progressive left support reparations. Uh, they always support programs that, you know, other people are going to pay for. So, so there's nothing, nothing new there. And then politically, there's a reason to do that because they really need the African-American vote and they see it under threat. So they want to make sure that that's secure. But, you know, as I often comment in social media, you know, every political action has an equal and opposite reaction. What are the possibilities of, of the opposite reaction? I mean, if you look at the country, not just in black and white terms, but more broadly in, in the reality of, of what the country looks like today. Let's look at some other groups and, and, and just pose the question, how, how might they respond uh, to the idea of, of being taxed to pay for reparations? After all, reparations, if they're going to be received, have to come from somewhere, and that's going to come from the federal government, and the federal government is going to have to tax taxpayers to pay those reparations. What about Hispanics, Latinos, Latinx, whatever you want to call them? I mean, they've been around here for a long time. They frequently felt like they've had a bad deal. I mean, you know, we grabbed Texas and uh, the West and California. I mean, do you think like most Hispanics are like eager to be paying reparations? Or are they going to jump in the bandwagon and say, yeah, we'll support reparations, but we want them too? Uh, just wondering. I mean, I, I, I don't know about polls of Hispanics with regard to reparations, and I don't know that many Hispanics to be able to draw conclusions from it. But, you know, one would think, you know, some of the people I know, I mean, I, I you know, there's a guy I, I've been working with, he's a recent immigrant from Puerto Rico, he barely speaks English. He's only been here, you know, three years or something. I mean, do you really think he wants to be taxed? He's got a small business. He's trying to make it, make a go of it. Do you think he really wants to be taxed to pay reparations to African Americans for what happened in the past? I have my doubts. Uh, what about other groups? What about African immigrants who have come to this country from wherever in you know, Africa, south of the Sahara? Do you think they're really interested in <laughs> they want to be taxed? to pay reparations to uh, African Americans. I mean, I, I've known some Nigerians and other African immigrants, and they don't really have a, a let's just say, a very completely positive view of uh, Native African Americans. And do you think, but do you think they're, as, as they struggle and, and get ahead, do you think they want to be taxed? to pay reparations to uh, people who were descendants of slaves in this country? Or somebody from Ethiopia, do you think he wants to be taxed? You know, I have my doubts about that. What about people from the Middle East? You know, should they be taxed to pay reparations for, for African-American slaves, uh, you know, sort of Arabs, Iranians, Afghanis? What about South Asians? You think people, you know, Pakistanis and Hindus, and you think they they feel like they should be taxed to pay reparations to African Americans? Uh, you know, we just had uh, some uh, incidents where I lived during the rioting, where the African American community, the rioters, targeted Asian stores, uh, Bangladeshi, Hindus, Vietnamese. Do you think those people want to pay reparations to the people who just destroyed their businesses? You know, 
I had my doubts. What about East Asians, you know, Vietnamese, Filipinos, uh, Chinese, whether they're from the PRC or, or Taiwan, Koreans, Japanese? Do you think they're eager to pay reparations? I mean, even uh, Chinese Americans have had a, a, a tough road here. If any, maybe, you know, will they want reparations too? I mean, the railroad building, the, uh, the massacres out in the far west, uh, uh, prejudice against them. Chinese Exclusion Act, all these other things. Do you think they're really eager collectively, especially the recent immigrants? I mean, I, I have a very good relationship with a, an East Asian immigrant who's only been here, you know, two thirds of her life. I have talked to her about reparations and she's not keen on, she doesn't understand why she should pay for reparations for things that happened, you know, so long, so far back. In, in American history. That's not why she came here to pay reparations uh, for that. And, you know, Japanese Americans, I mean, I, I think they did get some reparations and certainly a, an apology for what happened to them during World War II at the hands of the Democrats, I might add. But, you know, are, are they collectively eager to start paying reparations for, you know, pay for the sins of slavery? Or what about Native Americans? Anybody has Native Americans? The Native Americans, should they be taxed to pay reparations for African Americans? You know, do you think most Native Americans think that they probably think they should get reparations? So, and I haven't even gotten to white people yet. I haven't been able to refine this statistic, but I remember reading it, it must have been over 30 years ago now. So it, whatever the statistic is, it's probably even, it's changed. But at that point, Somebody had estimated that about three quarters, 75 percent of the people in the United States did not even have ancestors here at the time of uh, the Civil War or the period before, during the time of slavery. My family didn't. You know, we weren't even here. We weren't here for another just, just under a half century. So this is a real question, you know, many white people also. I mean, it would be one thing if my ancestors had been slave owners in the South. But what if you're, even if you're, or your ancestors fought in the Civil War on the North to end slavery? Should you pay, be paying reparations for slavery? And if your ancestors like mine came, you know, at, at the turn of the century, should you be billed for reparations for slavery? Now, I can only speak for myself. You know, I'm not real keen on that. I don't understand why, don't tell me about white privilege or any of that stuff. But I, I don't think I'm alone in this. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of woke children of recent immigrants who, who are all for paying reparations, and that's fine. But there's a large number of people uh, who, who aren't going to be eager to do that, aren't going to want to see themselves taxed. Now, I have no doubt that the Democrats can ram this bill through. Right now, it won't go through the Senate. But there's a good prospect that, you know, if Donald Trump loses and they retake the Senate and they take the presidency, it will go through. It'll be passed through. And all these people know that if it does, they're going to end up paying taxes. Now, I understand why the Democrats are doing this right now. They know it won't pass. They know it'll get shot down, and then they can point their finger at Trump and the Republicans and say, see, you're racists, you're bigots, you don't want to pay reparations. And that will secure, help secure, the African-American vote for their candidates. And I understand that. But as I said earlier, you know, every political action has an equal and opposite reaction. What's the opposite reaction to that? You know, our... If African Americans are more likely to vote Democrat in 2020, will African immigrants be more likely to vote Democrat? Will Hispanics be more or less likely to vote for Democrats? Will people from the Middle East be more or less likely to vote for the Democrats and the prospect of uh, forking over money for reparations? South Asians, same thing, same question. East Asians, same question. I mean, I, I know many people who are recent immigrants and they are not, you know, just dying to get out there and show their support for the African-American community to pay reparations. I said, you know, in, in this town, they seem to have been actually targeted by African-Americans 
during uh, the looting and the arson. So they're not eager to do this. So overall then, if, if you look at this as, and I'm not making the argument for or against reparations, but if you look at it as a political question, is this a wise move on the part of the Democrats? And I don't think that it is. Because I, I think you know, a large majority of the people in this country don't believe that reparations should be paid. Or from my point of view, the people who should be paying reparations are the Democrats. I mean, after all, I mean, who, who, who else is responsible for slavery? Who's responsible for Jim Crow and everything else? It's the Democrats. Who runs the cities that where these poor people live, where the schools suck, uh, where policing sucks? Democrats. So I, I just don't see this as, as a, a winning argument, a winning political argument. And I suspect it, it, it's not going to play well. Tactically, it, it may secure the African-American vote, but for every extra African-American you get to vote for you on the question of reparations, you might lose all these other people who might vote against you if, if, if this becomes that big of an issue. So I, I just, I don't understand, well, I do understand why they're doing it, but I, I think it, it's, it's really just another, you know, uh, I, I've made a video about this before, you know, you overplay your hand. You know, my, you know, as I said, my grandmother, and I've, I've talked about my grandmother in that video and teaching me to play pinochle, and she said, you know, you play the hand you're dealt. If you overplay your hand, you lose. And I think what we're seeing now are Democrats overplaying their hand. And, you know, all, all the tricks aren't in yet, but when it's done, basically, I think they're, they're, they're not going to make their bid and they're going to go deep in the hole. But we'll see. That's what makes politics interesting. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and then to do that, you'll know when I post new videos. And until the next time, paraphrase Dennis Miller, quote Dennis Miller, I am out of here.